Days at Sergeant Andrew Tomarisi was arrested back on March 31st. He was in court this week arguing his case to a Mexican judge. Now local groups are saying enough is enough. This Marine should be released. A civil liberties group called U.S. Defenders is demanding the release of a jailed Marine in Mexico. Every now and then we get to what's called a call to action in this particular case to try and aid the cause of Sergeant Tamarisi. About 30 members of a local chapter stood near the Brownsville Matamoros International Bridge, hoping to raise awareness about Sergeant Andrew Tamarisi, who has now been jailed for over four months in Tijuana, Mexico. Follow the intent of the law versus the letter of the law. And clearly there was an infraction, but it was not intentional and there was no intent to import weapons into Mexico. Tamarisi was arrested by Mexican authorities after what he claims was a wrong turn and ended up in Tijuana with military grade weapons in his possession. Mexican laws are strict on who can own guns and who can import weapons. A combat veteran of two tours in Afghanistan to have already been incarcerated for over 130 days for an honest mistake. But nowadays, anything to do with the border draws controversy. Members of the right wing's border convoy show support for the U.S. defenders' cause, but their presence drew opposing groups. They um, demonstrated their support with helping block buses, helping block transit, whatever they needed. And that's obviously what the case we saw here today. These people are coming out, disrupting our community, and that's what we want, what we don't want, I'm sorry, in our community. Immigration advocacy group Movimiento de Valle is not against bringing Tamarisi home, but want to send a message to groups like Border Convoy. Our objective here is to spread a word of compassion and peace and within our community, that we don't want this kind of behavior in our community. Several groups with different agendas, but making a point to voice their opinion on Mexico-U.S. relations. The members of Border Convoy at the protest this morning say several members spent the night patrolling the border, but wouldn't go into detail on where they were and what they saw. For now in the studio, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.